Well, certainly I was pleased with the effort that we had today. So I have to give it from the beginning. From an offensive perspective, we did a good job of moving the ball. We did a good job moving the ball on the air. Excuse me, in the air and on the ground. Uh, we were able to substitute significantly over the span, pretty much the almost the entire second half. We got a lot of guys a lot of work, and I thought they did a decent job as far as as far as production goes. Uh, from a defensive perspective, I've been talking about the defense got to be able to come together and do a better job, and I think our defense did that today. I mean, we did a pretty good job of shutting shutting them down, and we were also able to give a lot of guys work. So when we've done that in the past, even if the first unit has done a good job, they've been able to gain decent yards against us and oftentimes score. I think our second unit, third unit, uh, held their own, held their own out in the field today. Uh, and I think the special teams all season have been outstanding. I think they continue to be outstanding. I think when you look at what, uh, when we talk about Alabama and A&M coming into the game, uh, we knew that the defense was struggling a little bit. We knew that. We thought they were solid with regards to the special teams. I thought they were solid today, but I thought we got our job done. But they were pretty good offensively. They were ranked 34th in the country with the quarterback, runs and passes. He averaged five and a half yards a carry. The running back averaged seven plus yards a carry. They've got three yards, three guys they can throw to. And uh, so I thought it wasn't just any old offense based on the first three games that they've had so far this year. So I was especially pleased with the effort that the defense made and our ability to be able to shut them down as consistently as we did. And I'm really pleased with being able to give as many guys work as we did. I know we had some guys banged up today. I'm not going to know exactly anybody's status until I have a chance to be able to talk to the trainer. Either I'll find that out a little later on, I'll find that out tomorrow. Questions? Talk a little bit about 100th win for the, for the program. I think, you know, I think winning, winning the 100th game is a wonderful milestone. And I think for us as a university, we do have a good legacy here. We do have a good tradition. We do have a good foundation. To be able to win 100, 100 games, and you just have 12th year, or 13th. You're not you know, halfway or part of the way through our 13th season. It's something I certainly think Coastal should be proud of. And by the way, every coach and every player that has been part of Coastal Carolina football program should be proud of that. We're all part of that. Uh, it doesn't change your preparation throughout the span of the week. But to win 100, number 100 at homecoming, uh, you know, that's pretty special. So I'm certainly proud of that. Hopefully the university is proud of that. As Mike mentioned, shutouts don't come very often. What, what's the significance of having a zero on the scoreboard to you? Well, I think the big one for me, for me, Ryan, is the fact that, you know, the defense, which I thought was improving, you know, we still wound up struggling. So was, nobody was pleased about the Western Illinois game. Nobody was particularly pleased with what we improved the Bryant game. But today, you know, we, we did dominate the game from a defensive on a defense from a defensive perspective against an offense that wasn't so bad. So so that coupled with the fact that the second team held up and the third team held up at the end of the game is something that I am pleased with. It's not so much the, the, the shutout is a wonderful out of boy and a wonderful pat on the back, but it's more I feel good about the defense making progress. What was the area you saw the most improvement in there with them? I gotta look at the film, but I think we didn't have many breakdowns. I think that was an important part. I think we had a couple breakdowns a little later on in the game with the second and third unit, but we can't have breakdowns, and we've got to do a better job of tackling. We missed some tackles, but they were a little bit later in the game, and we had we had one or two breakdowns, but we've got to be able to eliminate them from what we need to do going forward. And then you mentioned last week that the offense had not played to its full potential yet. How close do you think they were tonight to get well, to that? Well, today, today, I mean, if our first first year was scored at five, 35? 38. 38. 38, okay. So it's 38 at halftime. So if you keep your first unit in there and we can stay effective, well, that's a lot of points. So I've got to say, we only had one penalty, I believe, in 10 yards. So I was, and I didn't like that, but I'll take that. I'll take that. So we did a much better job on the penalties. We did a much better job with our discipline and our poise. And we talked about a combat mindset. We were really focused for a handful of seconds at certain times. So we did a much better job of that. The rain could have easily been a distraction, but we were prepared for that. And I think had we gotten rain, I'd like to think it would not have been a distraction for us. Uh, so I was pleased across the board. The offense played well, uh, the defense played well, the special teams played well. To have two uh, running backs come in behind Hop and have 70 and 80 yards respectively, uh, what's that make you feel about your, your depth and, and just kind of the pipeline there at the position? Well, there's not any question on our end that, you know, we know Osh, for example, can certainly play for Hop. We know that already, so he's already proven himself. But Isaac had the big run. Isaac had the big, big run. And it would have been nice maybe to give a couple of the other guys, you know, a shot at the end of the game, but I don't think we were able to get around to that. Uh, but we know we have reasonable depth there. And uh, uh, 
Astros, please, please move like that we really could. Has Moss uh, overtaken Evan there at, at punter going forward? Uh, he had, well, remember, Evan was out for a while. Massa did very, very well. And Massa actually had a better week of practice. Massa uh, was cramping in the fourth quarter, so we didn't let him cramp again. I, I wouldn't say he's got the job, but I'd say we've got two guys that can punt. One of the things that Mike pointed out to me, too, so far this year, you know, I've been talking about the job our special teams have done. We have not had a punt returned for one yard against us so far this year. And you think about what the kickoff team has done. You know, that ball today, that we weren't trying to strip that. That foot was falling off the tee. You know, so you almost missed the thing. And that was what happened on that one. But, you know, we've been consistently getting the ball inside the 20-yard line as far as returns go. So our coverage teams, both kickoff and, um, and punt teams, have done a great job. I'm proud of that. Alex. Alex. I mean, better than when I started the game. I think they fell on it and they tweaked it back into place. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your assessment of the offense and how close do you think you all came tonight to being where you want it to be going forward? Um, I think overall we did a pretty good job. I still think there are some things we need to work on. There's always going to be some things you need to work on, but as far as maybe a penalty here or there. Um, and then as far as converting on third down, on third and short, third and medium, we need to be able to do that better. What was the rhythm you all were feeling there in the second quarter? You had 32 points in one quarter, which is the most ever against an FCS opponent. Um, we were feeling good. Uh, we were moving the ball pretty well, uh, we, and we just got into a rhythm. Pop was carrying the ball well. The receivers were catching, and the O-line was protecting. You can't ask for anything more. Frankie got to get in the mix today and had back-to-back -back catches, your first touchdown. What did it mean to you to be a part of this and contribute on the field today? Well, I've always wanted a chance to get out there and just show what I can do, but that meant a lot to be able to go out there and catch my first touchdown pass since 2012, so I felt good. How hard is it, you know, working behind such a deep receiving core, knowing you have all these veterans in front of you, but when you get your opportunity, you're just trying to capitalize? You just got to take advantage of that opportunity when you get a chance to get in there, so... Every time I get in there, I'll take advantage of that opportunity to make a play. So. And then the defense, uh, first shutout in eight years. What's that mean to you guys to, to finish that off like that? Uh, we definitely just uh, wanted to focus on having a complete game all four quarters, and I feel like we did that today. You know, proud of our guys. Um, obviously, we had some banged up players, but I mean, we just really wanted to focus on our assignments, and we did a great job today. What? Uh, what urgency or pressure did you all feel coming into this game, knowing that the defense hadn't been where you all wanted to be to this point, and you showed it today? Oh, no pressure at all. I mean, we have a lot of new pieces this year, so we just got to get a few guys going and well, just get that camaraderie and that team work together and stuff like that. But we did good, and um, we're just only gonna, we're only going to get better. Yeah, I feel like so. We did good. Well, last year you had a nice season with the sacks. What did it mean to, you, to get in that column today and? You get to the quarterback today. Um, it felt good, but honestly, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to help the team win. And um, all the stats, I mean, I can, I don't really care about that. I just want us to go all the way and do the best I can to help the team win. Talk just a little bit, any of you, about the excitement. You know, winning here again, another home game, five and zero, and in front of a homecoming crowd. Granted, it was a little rainy out there, but um, and win number one hundred for this program, being a part of that. Well, it's exciting. It's always exciting to go in there and uh, to put up points and then to get guys in the game who can catch their first touchdown pass. You know, it was a great catch by Frankie. And then get a lot of those younger guys in to get some experience because good football teams always have young guys play early. Um, and I think that was good for our team today as far as offense, defense, and special teams. Um, and it's just exciting. Were you a little extra fired up after that interception? You didn't miss much else after that. No, he kind of baited me into that one. I, uh, I turned and I, I turned and I looked and I tried to bait him into going into the flat because there was a flat route over there. And when I turned towards the flat, he took two steps toward it and I came back to the curl and he had dropped right back under the curl. So he kind of baited me into that one, um, which is unfortunate, but I didn't let it happen again. If it was a touchdown to Frankie, was that something that in your read progression, was that something that you had seen or that you had planned you were going to go to him first? No, actually, I was, how did that play up? He was, he was my backside route, and I looked front side, 
and the safety widened, and I couldn't get the ball to the corner route. He uh, he kind of undercut the corner route, and I and I turned backside, and I saw Frankie one on one with the guy, so I just put it on his head, and he made a play. Talk us a little bit about uh, your day today. First, the big one for you, and only getting it all done in the first half. Well, we came out with a good plan. Um, I feel like we executed our plan very well. The whole line did a phenomenal job once again. The receivers did a good job. Alex, of course, is a phenomenal player. He did a good job making checks at the line, getting us all in the right situation. Um, the game went good. We got some things we need to work on, little things we need to tweak here and there. But overall, I think we did a pretty good job. You got this touchdown streak going, uh, 19 straight games now. It seemed like you all just wanted to get taken care of in that first series. Uh, are you a, you think about it at all each week and, and just keeping that going and think you're one short of the FCS record now? I don't really think about it. I let the guys talk about it. Um, not these guys in particular, but <clears throat> other guys, they mention a lot. I just, I just want to go out and be the best person I can be, the best player I can be. Um, that scoring, blocking, catching, it doesn't matter what it is. I just want to help my team win. Ultimate goal is to win a national championship and one game at a time. So each week we all prepare the way we know how to prepare. So I best to do it and go from there. On that note, how uh, encouraging was it to see the offense click like, like you all did in it the was, second quarter? It was great. I mean, as Alex said, once we start clicking and the young guys get in, it is phenomenal just to see their growth from when they first got here to now or from camp to now. So when we when we when they get a chance to get in, we're on the sideline like little high school kids, you know, like jumping around, excited, like cheering them on when they get off the field, we coach them up, tell them what we saw, what we think they could have did. But overall, for the, for the, for the young guys to get in, uh, it's great. Michelle, what was the, the biggest difference in the defense this week? Um, focusing more on our assignments. You know, we was way more disciplined than we normally have been. And like Rod said earlier, having a complete game. We always come out, you know, very strong. We never finish as strong, but, you know, today we finally put all four together. Take us to your interception. Was that ball tipped on on the way to you, or? Um, I'm not really sure. Um, I just dropped back in the coverage, and the quarterback rolled out, and everybody went to one side. I just stayed with my man, and I just saw the ball just go through hands, hands. You know, combat mindset. You know, we focused on that a lot this week, so combat mindset, and I just focusing on the ball and run it in. Kelvin, you, you got one too. Um, just that first half in general, they only had four first downs and three turnovers. Is that about as well as you all can play on that side of the ball? You said you had the what? About as well as you all can play on that side of the ball? Um, no, I don't, I don't feel like that's, um, that's as well as we can play. You know, it's definitely some things that we can improve on, some things that, you know, would hinder them from even getting those four for real, you know. So that just comes with preparing diligently each week. I mean, I, I, I definitely thought our effort today was, was a great effort and it was, a, it was a good team effort, but it's definitely some things we can improve. I don't think that's the best that we can do, you know. Because we, we always want to keep climbing. So um, the first half, and I mean, the whole game by the defense and offense, you know, I feel like it was a great collective effort. So it's definitely some things we can prove on both sides. So I do not think that that's the best that we can do for, or the best that we're capable of. What does the shutout mean to you guys? <sighs> shutout feels great. You know, at this level, um, Division One, you don't see too many, too many shutouts. So to be able to do that and, you know, do it in front of our home crowd, do 100 win. I mean, it, it, collectively, everything, I mean, it just feels great. But um, it's, it's another win, and I mean, it feels good.